you know, gender becomes a very important aspect in neurology because it is evolving. Uh, it used to be, you looked at old pictures of the American Neurological Association meeting and say that people have preserved, uh, you would see it was all men. And uh, now when you go to the conferences, stuff you'll see is changed very drastically. And you see a lot of women and women are uh, entering into medical school. And that's true of all medical professions now in very large numbers. And uh, there are more women in our profession now than they are men. Um, and so even uh, in senior positions, uh, you'll see a change that is occurring. So understanding, and so all of medical sciences, the way we, uh, we teach medicine, what our expectations are uh, for promotion of uh, you know, work-life balance, all those things have been established by men. Um, grand writing, how we review things, uh, everything's been established by men with very little input from women. And but if the pattern is changing, I think it's very important that we and now relook at the entire process uh, to make it more women friendly and try to understand what are the aspects um, that are important to them and uh, you know whether it includes child care, whether it includes um, the, the value systems are different. So we have become quite interested in this aspect, and that's why we undertook uh, this preliminary or at least an initial study to try and understand uh, what these issues really are and what are the differences in uh, advancement performance uh, between men and women so that uh, that can serve as a guideline to make appropriate changes. This is all publicly available information that we used uh, to try and understand what the grant writing success uh, of men versus women is. Uh, and in each category, we found that women are disadvantaged um, and they have uh, multiple barriers that they have to uh, overcome uh, to be successful. You know, their success rate in grants um, being awarded, um, their ability to continue the research that they are in uh, is also impacted. And currently now with the COVID, that's even more important because women have been much more impacted uh, than men because they've had to, especially if they have young families, so they're at home, their productivity has gone down, and uh, they've had to manage uh, uh, the family as well as their job. And so it's become a much of a more acute um, problem uh, currently. Mm -hmm.